probably the biggest result is globally, I think, uh, not just the UK, is that the establishment of the um, uh, mutation of IGHV genes uh, for the prognosis. It's something that's been talked about relentlessly over the last few years, but now there are definitely some randomized trials that are actually um, demonstrating that patients with uh, mutated IGHV should receive chemotherapy and those with unmutated should probably not receive chemotherapy. And I know it will take some time for that, for us to get that in the UK um, uh, through NICE and all the, all the uh, reimbursement um, um, agencies, but, but I think, I think it's, it's quite solid. Um, uh, um, <clears throat> sort of result and then from the UK point of view there has been some um, um, retrospective uh, studies of long-term follow-up of ibrutinib that I think are quite useful um, for uh, for us clinicians and also for the for the for the NHS and the funding agencies because it gives quite a lot of information about what happens with patients long term.